Hello mga Mathusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math body para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan pa rin natin ay tungkol sa solving real life problems involving rational functions, equations, and equalities. So, eto na yung part 2 ha, practice activity number 3 na start natin dito. Now, kung gusto nyong malaman yung para sa practice number 1, stop kayo dito, you check your playlist, at i-check nyo yung part 1 nitong problem solving natin ha. Pero bago ko simulan ng part 2 na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang na pindot niya na dyan, ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for practice activity 3, we have here mix, mix, mix. How many liters of pure alcohol must be added to 30 liters of 20% alcohol solution to make 25% alcohol solution? So, para mas mabilis natin itong masolve, we have to have this table, ha? So, yung 20% is equal to 20 over 100. Diba? Ito ay 0.20 kasi. So, if we are going to convert that, it in fraction, that is 20 over 100. And then, yung amount niya is 30 liters. Ayan, 30 liters and then 20%. So, ito yun, ito yun. So, pag minultiply natin sila, you will have here 20 over 100 times 30. Now, dahil isang buong solution yung concentration, we have here 100%, which is equal to 1. And then, hindi natin alam kung ilan yung idadagdag, kaya x iyan. And then, we multiply 1 and x, so that's how, that's why we have 1 over x here. And then, ano yung dapat natin maging resulta? 25%. So, yung 25% is simply 25 over 100. And then, dahil mag-a-add nga tayo, so from the original, 30 plus x, kaya meron kang 30 plus x dito. So, ano mangyayari dito? You will have here, aha, uh -huh, 25 over 100 times 30 plus x, pag minultiply natin sila. Okay, now let's go to the solution. We use 100% or 1 because the pure alcohol was added, ha? Puro kasi siya. Now, using the relationship, ano itong mga lumalabas dito? Teka, ayan. So, use the relationship to make the equation. So, ang relationship natin is 20 over 100 times 30 plus 1 times x equals to 25 over 100 times 30 plus x. Eto lang yan, ha? Yun nandito. So, 20 over 100 times 30, yun yun. Plus, uh, 1 over x, uh, 1 times x, ayan yun. And then, 25 over 100 times 30 plus x. At ito naman yun nasa equal niyan. Now, solve the equation by finding the value of x. Multiply the whole equation by the LCM, which is 100. Okay? So, parang ganito yung ginawa kasi dyan. O, tinimes natin siya with, sorry, 300. 100. Wait lang. Bakit 300 yung naisip ko? Ayan, 100. So, 100 saka 100, cancel lang to. So, 20 times 30, 600 lang siya. And then, 100 times 1x, that's 100x, equals to, so, yung 100 saka 100, makakancel lang. So, you will have here 25 times 30 plus x. Tapos, i-distribute mo lang yan. So, copy lang to, 600 plus 100x is equal to 25 times 30 a 750 plus 25 times x is 25x. Okay? And then, ang ginawa, magpapalit sila, ha? So, you will have here, uh, paano ko ba ipapakita? O, dito ipakita ko kung paano naging 75x yan. 100x minus 25x, kasi ito lilipat doon, equals to 750, tapos yung 600 dilipat naman doon, that will be minus 600. Kaya magiging, ito ay 75x equals to 150. Na ito naman siya. ba? 
And then, divide mo siya by 75, divide by 75, cancel. So, you will have here 2. So, yung x mo ay 2. Okay? Now, for independent assessment number 3, salt solution. Manny has 40 liters of 10% solution. Okay? And salt solution. How much salt should be added to make a 20% salt solution? So, katulad nung nasa uh, practice natin kanina, we have to make the table. So, we have here yung concentration, and then yung amount, and then we have to multiply. Okay? So, we have yung original, and then yung i-add natin, so added, and then yung resulta natin, result. So, yung sa original natin, we have 10%, okay, or 0.10, and then we have the amount which is 40. So, pag dinimes natin siya, we have here 0.10 times sa 40. Okay, added, what? 100% ito, katulad ganina. Tapos, ang i-add natin ay x. Pag minultiply natin to, simply ito ay 1 na lang ha, yung 100% pag kinonvert natin. So, you will have here 1 times x. For the result, we have 20%. Ito yon. So, that is equal to 0.20 na lang. And then, 40 plus x. And... Ita times natin ito ngayon. This will become 0.20. Okay. And then 40 plus x. Okay. And then we do the equation. Ano yung equation natin? The equation will be 0.10 times 40 plus 1 times x equals to 0.20 40 plus x. Okay. 0.10 times 40 is simply 4, plus 1 times x is x lang yan. Tapos, point 20 times 40, that is 8. O, oh, pakita ko ha. Point 0.20 times 40. O, oh, that's 8. Kaya 8 na lang siya. Plus, point 0.20 times x is point 0.20x. Okay, ito ilipat dito, ito ilipat doon. So, you will have here now, x minus 0.20x, kasi diba magiging negative siya, equals to 8 minus 4. Ito din magiging negative. So, this is 1 minus 0.20, ha? Ganun yung mangyayari dyan. So, 1 minus 0.20, you'll have 0.8 or 0.80. O, 0.8 na lang. x is equal to 8 minus 4, you will have 4. Divide by 0 0.8, divide by 0 0.8, so x is equal to 4 divided by 0 0.8 is how many? 4 divided by 0 0.8 is 5. So, our x here is 5. Okay. Uh, so, anong tanong? How much salt should be added? Edi, 5. 5 liters of salt. So, therefore, you have to add 5 liters of salt. Okay? Now, for the next pra problem. Teka, masyadong lumaki tayo. Ayan. Practice activity number 4. Volume of a box. A box with a square base has a volume of 64 cubic inches. If x is the length of its edge and h is the height of the box what are the possible measurement of its edge if the height should be longer than the edge so the formula to get the volume of the box is v is equal to diba pag volume we have length times width times height pero dahil tayo ay square yung nasa baba natin yung nasa bottom at ang length natin ay gagamitin natin as x so, so you will have x times x times h. So, what is x times x? That is x squared times h. So, yung volume natin is x squared times h. Now, the equation relating to find the value of h is, so, paano natin nahanapin yung h? If we have b is equal to x squared over h, oh, times h, we have to divide it by x squared, x squared, cancel to. So, your x squared to, 
h will be equal to v over x squared. So, ito yung magiging equation nyo. So, h is equal to v over x squared. Now, since the height is greater than the length, so yung h daw is greater than the length x, the inequality can be described as this one. Okay, so h should be greater than our length x. So the possible value should be what? Okay. Ah, dito ang volume natin ay 64. Mga anak, sorry ha, gawin na natin tong 64. H, kasi nilagay na dito oh. So we have here 64. Okay, or lagay nyo na lang dyan, h is equal to b over x squared. Kaya lang binigay kasi yung 64, kaya nilagay ko na, na ito yung naging equation niya. Now, the, facip, the, fa, the possible value of h will be what? Uh, paano natin siya gagawin? So, you will have here, uh, dito natin isolve h. Teka. So, you will have here 64 over, ito kasi yung ano natin, di ba, equation natin. Uh, 64 over x squared minus yung isa nating x is greater than 0. Okay, so dapat mas matas siya kay 0. So, what we'll have to do is to transpose this one. So, you will have 64 x squared is greater than x over 1. So, cross multiply natin to. You will have here 64 is greater than x raised to 3. Tapos, kunin natin yung cube root. Kasi nga cube to, volume to, eh, ba? So, you will have x is greater than, oh, sorry. Ano ang cube root ng 64? That's 4, ba? So, yung 4 is greater than x is siya. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay, kung 4 is greater than x, edi yung mga x natin ay less than 4. So, the possible values should be x less than 4. So, yung mga x daw dapat ay mas mababa kay 4. Okay. Now, for independent assessment number 4, who am I? I am thinking of a number, the sum of twice a number, and 10 divided by 15 is greater than or equal to 4. Find the number or numbers. So, sum, so thinking of a number tayo, x tayo, di natin alam. So, the sum of twice a number and 10. So, yung pag pinag-sum sila, or pag pinag-add sila, uh, ha, at divide by 15, ang sagot ay greater than or equal to 4. So, twice the number plus 10, okay, divided by 15, the answer will be greater than or equal to 4. Okay, so, paano natin isosolve? Over 1 to cross multiply. So, you will have your 2x plus 10 is greater than or equal to 15 times 4 is 60. We put to dito, so you will have 2x is greater than or equal to 60 minus 10. Okay, so 2x is greater than or equal to 60 minus 10, you'll have 50. And then divide by 2, so x is greater than or equal to 50 divided by 2, 25. So, eto ngayon yung possible values. Ha? Basta dapat yung number natin ay mas mataas or equal kay 25. Now, for this one, last na to, suppose the amount of the bacteria growing in a petri dish is represented by the function Bt equals to 100t over t plus 2 for 0 is less than t and t is less than 15 where t is in hours and b is in a uh, million so wala to ha denominator to me how many bacteria will be there after 5 hours eto mga anak ko madali lang to kasi magsa-substitute lang naman tayo since ang time natin dito ay 5 yung mga t natin papalitan sorry na rin ng 5 so we have here b of 5 is equal to 100 times 5 over 5 plus 2 
So, 100 times 5 is simply 500. 5 plus 2 is 7. So, what is 500 over 7? Okay, 500 divided by 7. So, that's 71.42. Pero dahil 8 yung katabi ng 2, 43 na siya. So, 71.43 bacteria. Okay. Yung meron in 5 hours. So, ganun lang yon mga anak ko. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito dahil natulungan kita, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, please help me up this video by leaving your comments. Mahalaga ang bawat comment niyo para ma-up yung video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. And please don't forget to share this your, to your classmates kasi para may guide din naman sila. Huwag kayong selfish dyan. Baka mamaya porque tapos na kayo wala na kayong pakialam sa iba. I share Share nyo ito para din alam nila yung gagawin nila. Okay? And please naman, mga anak, uh, pa-visit naman ng Facebook page sa Love Mat TV. Pa-follow naman. Okay? And, laging tandaan, let's spread the love of Matt. Thank you and bye!